Jalen Brunson has proven that post-ups aren't exclusive to bigs. It can be a really good tool to have in the toolbox, even for guards with smaller statures. And even if this doesn't work out in your offense, it's a great tool to have and an easy way to train qualities like footwork, balance, and short jumpers that can apply to other ways of scoring. Let's break it down. So first off, sometimes he'll keep it really, really simple, especially with smaller matchups, and just quickly turn and pop off the ground into a layup. But what you'll notice here is that he doesn't turn and then jump. It's more of a rotation while he's in the air to protect the ball as long as possible. Similar with this kind of fading floater. It's nothing crazy, but it's just escaping laterally, flipping into that floater over that defender. Now getting a bit more complex with it, we talk a lot about change of speed off the dribble, but it also applies to his post up. He'll lull them to sleep a little bit and then explode out. He'll go from a slow back down to a really quick turnaround. And this is definitely a staple that makes him so good here. He also really likes driving out of this post up situation to his left. And if they cut him off, absorbing and utilizing that contact to his advantage by sending them back and spinning out the other way into a turnaround. And the timing of his bumps are perfect most times. He'll hit them right when they're transitioning from foot to foot, which is really just a complete feel thing that he's just developed over time. And it amplifies any bump he gives them to get them flying backwards a bit. But even with this contact and high speeds, he's able to control his deceleration enough to not travel most times, which is a very underrated quality around this area. Also notice how he's able to shoot from super staggered positions, like feet almost facing the opposite way. He's able to turn himself in the air, stay composed, and knock it down, all while elevating to shoot over a defender. Same thing fading backwards. He'll literally be at a 45 degree angle sometimes and knock it down. It's impressive. And to get even more separation off of this, he'll shoot it off one leg so he's able to almost step backwards into it, legally of course, instead of being locked into place off of two feet. Now on his turnarounds, notice how he really pulls the ball into it to get him some momentum. To me, this is a really good way to start the momentum of a forceful turnaround and help smoothly transition up into that shot fluidly. Notice also sometimes as he's getting into this turnaround motion, he'll literally just do this to get some power into a step through. So he's not even really looking for the shot here, but you'll see how much projection and power he gets by taking this step backwards. Let's also talk about how he transitions into a post up. Granted, this is going to be different for you most likely. It's easier in the NBA where there's more spacing around the paint but you'll notice that it happens in a couple different situations for him. Number one is out of a drive where he gets cut off or can't fit into a gap. Instead of stopping or being a bit out of control, he'll transition that into a post up and be patient and controlled. Number two is just coming down the court and transitioning straight into it, which is a bit tougher and less realistic at lower levels. And three, it doesn't always necessarily have to be a post up, right? It can be using these principles, the footwork, the techniques, all that, but in a little bit more of a guard-like situation once you get down in this area. And then lastly, just keep in mind how much physicality it requires as a defender to deal with this. And because of this, how much energy it drains from them. Over the course of a game, taking all of these bumps can add up and wear down that matchup. So as always, thank you guys for tuning in. Hopefully you learned something from this, whether you can apply this into your game or not. And also make sure to go check out the workout video that I'm going to drop for this tomorrow. As always, thank you for tuning in.